All right, so when I first came, I um I had my thermostat called for uh, cooling, dropped the temperature all the way down. The space was 73, so I set my therm uh, set my thermo you know I set my thermostat to call for 67, 68. That should have kicked the unit right on. Then I came upstairs. I, I know my transformer was good. Cause first of all, I tested right here. I had 20 volts. Then I made sure my uh, my uh, you know I made sure my condenser was sending my 24 volts down to my thermostat, which obviously it was because the thermostat didn't have any batteries. And there's a common hooked up. If there was no common hooked up and it didn't have no batteries, the thermostat would be blank. So once I verified that, I said, "Why is my unit not coming on? I don't have 24 volts." I didn't have 24 volts nowhere. I didn't have it here, I didn't have it there. I didn't have anything. Okay, I'm not gonna be running up and down the stairs like that. So before I went down the stairs, you know, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, fellas. I'll get another wire tie and put all this back neatly, but I unraveled this just so I could trace these out and test them one by one. I like to test them one by one, which means I find the two wires for this, test that, two wires for this, test that the two wires for this i test that and then after i do that i'll find you know i'll hook everything back up everything is going to be in series when you hook it back up so i'll find one end of it which was this blue one and then i'll find the other end of it which was this orange guy right here and between between this and this the low voltage circuit is running through my low pressure cutout my high pressure cutout and my pipe sensor and um as it runs through that it sends the 24 to my contactor so on and so forth but you always but you got to keep in mind this got to get the 24 volts from here from it got to get the 24 volts from here here got to get it from the thermostat so that's what led me downstairs guys i hope that wasn't too fast for you but i am trying to get home and get me some good food to eat purpose driven purpose driven lifestyles get on it like the channel and hit the like button. S.HVAC Services. We out here, baby. So here goes the thermostat, guys. So here goes my um here goes my red from upstairs. I was getting my 24 volts. So it was coming here, but the thermostat wasn't passing it to my Y because my safeties were open. Th this thermostat has built in stuff so and you know once you hook these two up that's going to automatically cut the 24 so i had that high level float switch hooked up to s1 and F s2 it was open so that wasn't going to let this function normally see you on the roof hey what's up guys so i'm doing a um quick service call we found um they got a split unit so it's a split unit. The condenser's upstairs um, on the roof. So um, what I found was this auxiliary plant float switch. The arm, there's nothing wrong with this switch, but the arm was actually slightly stuck here. It was slightly stuck up, supposed to be all the way down. So when, with the arm slightly stuck up, it's creating an open, open so just imagine my finger is the power going through with this slightly up it's creating a open and when when this open is like this no 24 volts can flow through so just imagine these wires <clears throat> so imagine I have 24 volts coming in from this red I'm supposed to go through this guy through here through the switch, but the switch was slightly up, so the 24 volts is not gonna go past it. I freed this up, make sure it was clear, loose. So now is a straight switch. The switch is closed, normally closed. This is a normally closed situation I'm talking about, it should be. And then the 24 volts are gonna come out through this wire, back out through my white wire. On my thermostat, I have a S1 and S2. Now, normally, um, when you see those on a thermostat, those are like um, 
field install safety switches. You, you, you know, you can add whatever you want to the S1 and to the S2. A lot of times, like I said, uh, people put safeties on those. Overflow switch, uh, dirty filter switch. You know, you could put anything on that. Um, I'll get back with you when I'm on the roof and I got the unit running. But that's basically what I found. Because what led me down here was I was getting 24 volts at my R, at my condenser. Um, while calling for cooling, I wasn't getting the 24 volt back up here. I tried to jump it out at the condenser to let me automatically know the thermostat's no good. But when I jumped it out, the unit still didn't come on. So that let me know there's something else going on with the air handler and the thermostat. So I made my way downstairs, power off, the power off at the condenser. I came downstairs, took the cover off the thermostat. I saw, S, I saw these hooked up to S1 and S2. Automatically, the first thing I did, because I already know I got 24 volts coming down to my thermostat. So I went straight to this located this in the ceiling disconnected my wires i tested continuity between these two wires in the two wires going to the uh the safety switch and i i had no continuity I, I i freed this up and now i had continuity so now my 24 volts should be flowing right through this switch i'll holler back at you in a minute when i'm on the roof